Each year, a parent or legal guardian must complete online an annual student update for their child. Parents and guardians will use their Home Access Center account, also known as their HACC account, to enter guardian and emergency contact information, the student health inventory, the military dependent form, the Department of Family and Protective Services form, and the permission form. The parent will also acknowledge district policies. This video will walk you through the process of completing your annual student update. Before you begin, please be mindful that the application session times out in 90 minutes. You will be prompted after completing the first few sections to save your document before proceeding, and you will enter your contacts as the final step after saving previous information. To begin the annual student update, navigate to the HACC icon on the Parents tab of the district website. Click on the Login Page link. You will now enter your username and password to open the Home Access Center. Click the Update Student Information link in the sidebar menu. Please note, if a parent has a HACC account but is not listed as living with the student, he or she will not have access to the online registration module and will see this screen instead which says Update Form Not Available at the Moment. Contact your student's registrar to update your Living with Student status if you receive this screen. If the status is correct, you will see the new link here so you can open the annual update application. The Student Information section contains the existing information on file for your student in the left-hand column. You will see some fields that are grayed out and cannot be changed online. Student name or birth date requires legal documentation in order to update. Please contact your campus registrar to update this information that requires supporting documentation or to request an update to ethnicity or race. You can change the language of correspondence here to Spanish if your student prefers their HACC account to be displayed in Spanish. When you enter any change in this document, the information will be highlighted in yellow. Also, in order for your student to access HACC, where they may view their schedule, classwork, grades, attendance, so forth, this box here must be checked, Enable Student Account for Home Access Center. You will now close the Student Information section by clicking on the minus sign and open the Address and Phone section by clicking on the plus. The Address and Phone section contains the most recent information for your student. Student addresses must be verified each and every year by providing supporting documentation to the campus registrar. The Student Parent Handbook contains a list of acceptable residency documents. You may, however, add or change or delete your phone here on this screen. When this is complete, you will click on the minus side beside the Address and Phone section. Remember, the application session times out in 90 minutes, so we recommend you move to the additional information and additional questions sections and complete these, then save the application. Since the contact information requires more time to complete, that information should be entered after the previous sections are saved. Open the additional information by clicking on the plus sign. In this section, the right column shows the existing information on file for the students. Read over and verify that this information is correct or save any or change any information that needs changed. Each select box requires a yes or no response. Y indicates yes, N indicates no. If you do select yes for any of the sections, please provide additional information in the explanation for the disease or the condition. So down under allergic 
reaction, we're going to change that to a yes and add bee stings. If you enter new information that does not match the existing information on file, the entire row will be highlighted in yellow. Please enter your name at the end of this section, acknowledging all health information is correct. Please then provide responses to the military connection and foster care questions in a similar manner and enter your name acknowledging that all information is correct. Please also provide responses to the personal and consent questions in a similar manner and enter your name at the end of that section. Close the additional information section by once again clicking on the minus sign. Now open the additional questions. Please enter your full name next to each of these sections by uh, acknowledging that you have read the statement. Close the additional sections section by clicking on the minus sign. Now click Save before proceeding onto the contact information. You can view the contacts that you currently have on file and you can click on these icons to edit or view any of the information there. To add a contact, click on the Add Contact button and enter the name and you must enter a phone number for this contact. You must also determine what type of contact they are. And in this case, I'm going to select emergency contact. You can only select one, either a guardian or an emergency contact. Save, and it updates the contact information. Now I have Terry Friend as another emergency contact. Please note that you must save after inserting or editing any of the contacts. You can also click on the red X to delete a contact and you can click on the arrows to adjust the priority. If I want to move this contact to the third spot as a third priority, it changes it and moves them down. It's important to note that if you have more than one guardian, some correspondence, such as attendance emails, are sent only to the priority one guardian. If there is more than one guardian, you will want to set the priority one guardian as the one you wish to receive most email notifications about the student. Make sure to click Save, and now we're going to review the full document. If you click on Show All Sections, it opens the entire document so you can scroll down and review all sections and what changes you have made. If you make any adjustments, once again, be sure to save the application at the bottom of the screen again. Once your application is complete, you will click the I agree that I certify that I am the parent or legal guardian of this student and click the Submit button. This shows the status of your application is submitted. After the application is submitted, you return to the Update Information page. You see this status, and an UMBL ISD Registrar will review and accept the submission. When the application has been accepted, the status line will reflect the new status of Accepted. Please visit the student's school campus at this point to complete the enrollment process. Bring documentation for residence verification and, if applicable, updated immunizations, military dependent documentation, and the Department of Family Protective Services documentation. 
This completes the process for submitting your annual student update.